We now welcome Dylan Brewer to the program. Dylan, how are you today? Doing good. Uh, thanks for having me. It's a nice sunny day outside compared to all the windy, cold weather we've had. So thanks for having me on. Thanks for joining us here uh, this Monday. As Nick kind of already touched on, the spring season getting started here for you guys. Registration opening up. Uh, we'll let you just take it from there, talk about when the season will begin, when registration uh, deadline is, and I know you have uh, some big news as well if you want to get that one right off the bat about this season or not. Um, we'll probably uh, save that for a later time. But, um, yeah, so last year we had our first season uh, in the fall, uh, the Berkeley County Youth Flag Football League. We play at David Walker Stadium at Coburn Field. Um, last year we had about six teams very successful uh, first year, uh, a lot of community support, especially from y'all. Um, this year, uh, coming up in the spring, our season, uh, let me just make sure I have all my dates correct. Um, we're going to start June 2nd, and our season is going to go all the way to July 14th. Uh, and this year, we will be part of NFL Flag League. So right, each there's that big news. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> um, so uh, this year... Kids, the players, they'll have NFL flag jerseys. Uh, they're reversible, uh, authentic. They're stitched. They're really nice quality. Uh, they'll have NFL flag um, flags that will be distributed with the registration. Um, it's just going to be picking up uh, a lot this year. We've already had uh, plenty of sign-ups, and I think this year we're, we're projected to have close to 16 teams. So uh, a lot of community support and just thankful that it's taken off the way it has, especially, you know, this is the, this is the way things are going. So, What can you tell us about what went into getting that partnership with the, with the NFL Flag League? Um, so we had some uh, great connections. Sean Bowder's actually uh, – former Martinsburg guy actually hooked us up with uh, getting the connections to get this whole partnership with the NFL Flag League. So um, that was a big help. Um, just a lot of things going into it. Uh, it's really unique, too, because we will be the only league from here to Clark County. That's the only NFL Flag League locally. So um, we're going to be pulling kids from Hagerstown, Frederick, Winchester, and then here from Martinsburg. So there's going to be really good competition. What age group, Dylan, for uh, the leagues and, uh, I guess, boys and girls, correct? Yes, it's a co-ed league. Uh, it'll be the age groups that currently we have uh, kindergarten all the way up to eighth grade. So um, there'll be four divisions, and, you know, we like to fill them all up. So, so last year during the fall was the uh, first season for you guys. Just tell us about what you kind of learned in forming this league and maybe what were some of the bigger learning curves that you maybe didn't expect to have? Um, to be honest with you, um, it just hit the ground running. You know, we had a lot of um, great coaches. That was the biggest thing. We had a good foundation with coaches. We had Brandon Ashenfelter, former Martinsburg standout, Dewey McDonald, uh, Sean Bowders was a great help to us, uh, Marco Strowski, uh, coach at Martinsburg. Um, big thing was is the parents were – you know, that's what we were kind of nervous about. We had a great parent involvement. Uh, the kids were right on it uh, as far as plays go. Um, great competition. All the teams were, were super even. Um, it came Every game was going right down to the, to the last score. So um, I think the biggest thing, we were a little nervous on that, but just the community just really showed out and helped us out and, you know, made this whole process move smooth. So, you know, um, the kids had a great time. So. Obviously, you got the expansion coming. You got the NFL partner partnership here. Uh, anyone that was in the league for the first season coming into the spring here, what sort of other changes might there be coming into this next season that they could expect? Um, well, I would say we'll have more um, referees. We're going to be pulling a lot more referees, more sponsorships, like even um, – during the games, we're going to have, like, different events, 50-50 raffles, just all these different things to make the whole atmosphere like you're, you know, you're at the high school game or, you know, college game. It's, it's going to be, be really fun. So we're going to create that atmosphere that everybody can come to and everybody can enjoy. Um, but just really looking forward to it. Um, still a lot of wheels turning in my head on how we can make this thing better. Um, but we got plenty of time, so. Dylan, what do you think are some of the uh, benefits of playing flag football? 
Uh, the head injuries, it's a big thing. Uh, I played, I'd probably say, 12 years of football. Um, sometimes my memory goes a little. <laughs> um, but I think this is great for kids. You know, I started playing when I was seven years old. You know, and that's your brain's developing. You're trying to go through your stages of life. And, you know, taking head trauma and playing tackle football is not a good thing for you to start your life on. You know, this gives kids a chance where they can still play the game, catch the football, make all the moves, do all the things, pursuing the the ball carrier in a safe way. So then it builds you up to middle school to high school to where when it's time for you to really start taking those hits, you know, your brain's more developed, you're more apt to take those hits. So I think this is just an interesting thing. And, you know, I started playing this when I was a kid. But, you know, if I could go back, I, I think I would have started and didn't start a little later, you know, so I could have those years of development, not the head trauma. So I think that's the big thing. We're, we're finding more and more out about that. Last year, uh, you guys had sponsors for teams uh, for the league itself as well. Just, I guess, is it the same price as last year? I know uh, we here at Talk Radio WRNR also sponsored a team, thanks to Mike. But how does one uh, become a sponsor? Uh, yeah, so if the to sponsor a team, uh, this will cover, you know, um, the T-shirts or anything that we need for the for the kids themselves um, with the sponsorship. Uh, well, with the sponsorship, you'd sponsor a team. Uh, you'd actually get a nice little billboard that comes right into the into the stadium. We'll make sure they're hung up uh, before the game. We'll announce uh, the sponsors um, along with that. Uh, and then there'll be 50-50 raffle sponsors. Anything you can be a part of, but the. The fee will be $350 for the uh, sponsorship, and that will cover all the stuff for the players, uh, everything that they need. Um, and then also, too, um, trying to think so I don't leave anything out. Um, yeah, that, that's that's the price for it. So, And then okay. uh, if you want to inquire about getting a sponsorship, you'd reach out to registration at bcyffl.com, and I'll give you that email to, to reach out to it. Uh, and then also, too, if you'd like to inquire about it, uh, bcyffl.com is our website, and you could reach out to my father, who's the commissioner of the league, Charles Brewer, at 703-599-4249. So um, still working all those things out, but... But um, we'll, we'll give more stuff on that once we get everything up and rolling. And if anyone wants to, you know, sign their kid up to be in the league or participate, you know, maybe coaching, refereeing, is a similar process for, you know, contact? Yes. Yeah, so if you just want to reach out to all those contacts, but, you know, using that email is um, great form. And then you can find me on Facebook, and then you can reach out to our um, – Facebook page as well. You can find us on there, Berkeley County Youth Flag Football League, if you want to send a message or find any other information out on that. All right, Dylan, thank you for joining us. Anything else you'd like to mention about the league or anything in particular? Um, I just think uh, we have a really good community. Um, you know, I came here when I was in sixth grade from Winchester, and, you know, I love Martinsburg. I think Berkeley County is a great place to, you know, grow your family up, and it, it, it was a great platform for me to grow up into who I am, and I'm thankful for this whole process and thankful for all of y'all to give me this platform to talk about this and, you know, thankful to the community for supporting our local league. So I'd like to keep uh, rolling with this and getting the kids involved, and, you know, thank you to everybody for getting us to where we are. You know, we'll keep building this thing, keep climbing the ladder with it. So thank you all. As always, thank you as well for, you know, helping these kids get something else to do and, and play some fly football. It's, I think it's great for uh, the development of the sport.